Hey everybody. So the right now we're not allowed to be out and socializing, so I feel like it's more important for me to upload more videos, um, put more content on, so we're all talking to each other and you know, um, keeping contact. Um, but I've been doing this devotion lately on my Bible plan. Sorry about the reflection of my glasses, and it's on the U version Bible app, and it's from Zach Williams. It's Fear is a Liar. I just want to share that with everybody, in case you guys don't have that. I'm going to read through the devotional and then the scriptures to go with it. Day one, today's lie. You are not strong enough. Perfect way to start it out. The song Fear is a Liar outlines many of the fears and lies that the enemy tells us. One of those lies that we are often told is that we are not strong enough. We can fill in the blank of that sentence with so many things. We're not strong enough to step up and be the parents our children need. We're not strong enough to be vulnerable with our spouse, pastor, or counselor. We're not strong enough to quit drinking, smoking, taking pills, looking at porn, overeating, cheating. Uh, we're not strong enough to step back in church after years of distance. We're not strong enough to ask for forgiveness for someone we wronged, hurt, ignored, abused, manipulated. We're not strong enough to smile in the face of pain. We're not strong enough to believe in a better life. And we're not strong enough to seek help. We're not strong enough to stop judging others. So I even try. The list can go on and on. The amazing thing is that over and over in the Bible, God tells us two things. That we don't have to be strong enough on our own because number two, his strength is what we need to be strong enough. That should feel like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. It does to me. I can do all this through him who gives me strength from Philippians 4.13. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. From Isaiah 40, 31. The Bible takes it a step further and encourages us to see our weaknesses as things to boast about gladly because it's more, it's more opportunity to be truly strong with Christ's power. My power is made perfect in weakness, as it says in 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 10. This is a difficult uh, concept to grasp, but if you think about it, none of us are perfect. We're all missing a puzzle piece in order to be strong enough to accomplish what we need. God has that missing puzzle piece. His power is made perfect in our weakness. If you've been told you're not strong enough by someone else or the enemy, it's a lie. You are strong enough because you have God's power. That's the end of the day one, but I just want to encourage you guys all to really dig into your Bibles, dig into prayer, keep in contact with each other to make sure we're showing love in whatever way we can through communications even. Um, make sure people have enough of what they need. If they don't, if you have a way to get it to them, get it to them. Show people love, everybody. Let's just be the manifestation of God's love to each other in whatever way we can. And please be strong because you are strong. You just might not know it. God bless you.